This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, as we turn to Mumia Abu-Jamal's latest audio column, produced by Prison Radio. Mumia Abu-Jamal does a weekly column that is run on radio stations around the country. He did this on April 24th. It's called The Method of Their Madness. The Method of Their Madness. Across America, jowls are tightened and hearts race over rising gas prices, which in turn hikes prices all along the line of product distribution as manufacturers and merchandisers add their increased transportation costs to prices. Americans are surly, shaking their fists at Arab potentates, dreaming wild dreams of desert conquests that will bring this vital resource under U.S. control. What the average American doesn't know is that less than 20 percent of all imported oil comes from the Middle East, and that the reason for much of the heightened prices is because of pure speculation and fear stoked by news stories of unrest in the region. And what event caused the greatest regional unrest in the past 25 years? The Iraq War. Yeah, the Iraq War. And the unrest has sent oil prices spiking upwards. For example, on the eve of the war, oil sold at $30 a barrel. By spring 2008, it was $126 a barrel. Today, it's $108 per barrel. Still, for the last few years, ExxonMobil made more money on petroleum sales than any company in the history of capital. Last year, Exxon made $30 billion in profits. $30 billion. For these ends, wars are fought. Tens, even hundreds of thousands are slain. The Constitution is shredded. The economy is bottomed out. Schools are hollowed out. And politicians are but prostitutes in suits, with my apologies to honest prostitutes. Terrorism is a chimera, a political tool to mask deeper economic drives, to dominate and control the world's sole remaining natural resource, oil. There is a method to this madness. It's called profit. From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. Mumia Abu Jamal released that commentary on April 24th, on April 24th, his 58th birthday. He has been doing weekly commentaries for years, produced by Prison Radio and Noel Hanrahan.